Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be working upstairs in the craft room and working on a sign that I'm making to use on a wreath that I will be making either next week or the week after. It depends on when the supplies come in from craft outlet. Uh, I am making a watermelon wreath and so I'm going to make a watermelon design. Now I saw this sign or something very similar to it on Pinterest and so I thought I would put it together myself. It looked like something that was fairly easy to recreate and so I, I have painted a sign which you'll see shortly and we're going to go to Cricut and we're going to make some vinyl lettering to place on the sign. So I will take you over to the Cricut screen and we'll get busy making some vinyl lettering for my watermelon sign. And no, I don't have new glasses. These are the glasses I use in the craft room when I'm trying to see something up close. Otherwise, I wouldn't have any glasses on. But anyway, and anyhow, that's uh, what we're doing. So give me a second and I'll move you on down to the Cricut. And we're going to start on a new project. Okay, when the screen opens up here, I'm going to start with putting a shape in. You hear my printer going in the background. Uh, it'll stop in just a minute. I'm printing out a newsletter. But I'm going to start with a square, but we're not going to use a square. My sign is approximately 8.5 by 11. So what I'm going to do is to unlock this square, and I'm going to change up at the top here the width to 11. And hit enter and then I'm going to change the height to 8.5 and enter and there you have my eight and a half by 11 sign and if you look up at the top here under linotype um, I'm going to change the color from black to white that way we might be able to see the lettering a little bit better okay so now we're going to look up at the top here where you have the blocks that I just used to make the change in the size of the square. And you notice that there's one line of options here. Okay. Now when I press the T over here for text, a second line of options comes up. And that's the line we're going to be using for this text. I'm going to make two lines of text and I'm going to do them separately in the boxes. You see the boxes come down at the bottom here. I'm going to start by doing the word sweet and I'm going to look for a font that I would like. Something that's a little bit um, like writing but not on a slant and I think I have one down here. Let's just see here. Da -da -da -da. Here we are, somewhere down in here. Here we are. This Carl Caslon number 540 Swadi, whatever that is. You can see it's like um, writing, but it's not slanted like sometimes the handwriting is. So we're going to use that for that word, and we're going to put it right up in here. We'll probably adjust the size here in just a minute. So now I want to write the word summertime. I'm going back to the text box and I'm going to make this one all caps. Okay, now I don't want that same font. I want this to just be a straight up and down font. So we're going to go back up to the fonts and Let's just look at this one. That one looks pretty good. Let's just try that. We'll put this up here. Now, if you look up at the second line that we showed up when we pressed the text, you'll see that right here there's a word curve. And what I'm going to do is press that. And now I can curve this summertime. I can either curve it down or I can curve it up. And in this case, I'm going to curve it up. So I'm going to use this 
to curve up the word summertime. And then I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger because I want it to come out almost to both ends of the sign. And let's just make the sweet just a little bit bigger too. And then, whoops, I didn't I got the block instead of the sweet. And we'll center that in with the summertime. And there you go. That's how easy it was to make that little curved words. Now, I want to print these out together so I can put them on the sign together. In fact, I think I might move this one up just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Um, so I'm going to cl click on the word summertime. And then holding down my shift key, I'm going to click on the word sweet. Now both of those are highlighted. I'm going over to the right and I'm going to hit group. So now I have grouped those uh, letters. And so now what I'm going to do is just go down to the bottom and hit attach. Okay, so now I'm going to get rid of my square because I don't need it. And my letters are not going to be black. They're going to be white. So I'm going to change that to white. Okay, now let's just see when we hit make it. There you go. Look at that. So they're both on the same mat and they're in white. And uh, so I'm going to add some um, vinyl to my mat and put it in the cut and put it in the cricket and see what we get. I'll be right back. Okay, before I print that or cut those letters, um, I just want, remembered that I want to make some seeds. I didn't think I had any black vinyl, but I did find some. So I'm going to see if I can find, I'm not sure. Um, might use a triangle. I don't think there's anything that I can use. I'll try images and see if there's anything here. Well, there are some seeds. Anything that looks like what we could use? I don't think so. Well, see how the watermelon seed looks now on this one. I wonder if we could do, let's just try something. I'm going to take this and move it off here. Okay, so let's just make this bigger. And I'm going to do, um, <coughs> excuse me. No, my contour is not lighting up. But let me just see here. Now let me look at a shape and see if I can fix a shape. It's almost like a teardrop, isn't it? Okay, so let's just go back and do image. And let me see, a tear drop. Ah, look at this. This is, this is really good. Okay. I'm going to do... Oh, let's see. Let's try this one for a second. I don't know if I can get rid of the middle or not. Okay, we can get rid of this.
I can ungroup it and get rid of this maybe. Ah, perfect. There we go. Look at this. Now you can turn it around. And then you have your seeds. Now I'm going to have to do my block again for just a couple of minutes here. Let's just see. Uh, shapes, square. Okay, unlock it. 11, 8.5, I make it white. Now, let me just see what these drops look like. If I take this and arrange and send it to the front, I can put this over here, whoops. Move it over here. This way I can see how big to make my drops. Well, arrange, send to the front. And my seeds don't need to be that big. In fact, they don't even need to be that big. How about like that? I think that's good. So those are going to be black. And I think I'll cut. Let's see, we'll duplicate it. Copy, 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 copy. I'm going to try to arrange them so that they will cut like together. And I can put it on in one strip. Now that looks kind of cute. Uh, I think what I want to do is I want to move this one here and this one here. And turn that just a bit. Turn that just a bit. I like that. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit this one. I'm going to hold the shift and hit the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one. And I'm going to group them. And then I'm going to attach them. So now I'm going to get rid of my block. And I should have two mats. Here's one mat here in the sweet summertime. And then here's my other mat that shows all of my seeds. And I should be able to print those all out at once. I asked if I can move those over just a little bit. There we go. Very good. All right, on to the Cricut. And let's get this cut. Okay, here we are. And I'm going to be using this as my sign base. And I'm, I'm using a um, computer camera here now. And it, it wants to keep trying to focus. So I'm going to move quite slowly so I can try to keep it in focus. But this is the sign I'm going to use. And I saw something very similar to this on Pinterest. And no, I didn't mess up the paint, the white and the green paint. Um, they are not supposed to be sharp division lines because a watermelon doesn't really have sharp division lines there's a little bit of white down in the green and the green and the white and so on and so forth so i just kind of put a little bit of the red on um, the white on the red and then wiped it with a paper towel to try to just get a little blurry there and, and as i've said many times before i am not a painter so i can't guarantee how it's going to look so on this sheet I have the two things that we made on the Cricut. Now, you can't even see the words right here, but I'm going to take them off of there in just a minute. But you see the seeds are over here. So let me move the sign out of the way. 
and we'll see if we can get some of these words off here and then you'll be able to see what they look like. I hate trying to find the edge of these papers, but I will get it. Here we go. Get my finger under there, get it started. We'll be all set. There we go. All righty. And I actually think I can do this in one fell swoop. She says laughingly. <laughs> Some, this paper had some rough areas on it, so I don't know how well that's going to transfer. Now I'm just taking, a credit card is really better, but I don't have one in here. I'm just going to go over each one of these letters. I'm using my bone folder and just trying to get them to come off of my Cricut mat or the vinyl backing and come on to... this uh, transfer paper. Once they're on that transfer paper, you should be able to see them quite well. Now well, let's see how we did here. The first thing I'm going to do is just trim some of this off. The less extraneous paper you have to work with, the better. Because it gets all stuck on itself and on you. And I'm going to take some off the other end also. Okay, now let's see what we can do here. And you see the letters coming up? It's hard to see with the white letters. So far, so good. Here we go. I'll bring the sign back over. Look at that. 
Now I'm going to go over it again. This time I want it to come off the transfer paper. And I just, I don't want all this transfer paper down here because it will pull the paint off. I, but the white I can always go over again a little bit. The red I don't think will be bothered by it, but we'll see. I'm going to try to get up here. So I'm very close to where I'm going to be pulling it off. And then I'm going to cut it. And I really should have done that ahead of time and just made a smaller piece. There we go. Okay, now let's get these letters down. See what we can do. And what I usually do with these after I have the letters on is either put some Mod Podge or acrylic spray over the top of it, which then helps it to stay if there's any lifting. And you see what I'm doing? I'm going back and forth instead of just pulling it. It's, it's, it's a fairly slow process, but it comes right along. They seem to be adhering very nicely so far. There you go. And how sweet is that? Look at that. Beautiful. Love it. Now, do I have to get my... Oh, what did I do with my thing? Okay, now we have to just move the sign again. And we'll get our seeds off. Now let me do a little cutting on this before I put it on here this time.
now I mentioned um, making the sign because I'm going to make a watermelon wreath when I get the supplies in from Craft Outlet. They have shipped, but they probably won't be here before next week. So we'll be ready when they're ready. Again, I'm going to try to keep those off of that white paint and the white paint will be pulled up I think if it gets too too much of this on there and I don't really want them on those letters either <laughs> here we go I didn't really burnish these like I should. Let me just take a second to burnish them. There you go. Now, seriously, folks, how cute is this? Perfect. Look. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's going to look really cute on the wreath. And we made it ourselves. And, of course, it doesn't look terribly professional, but it was fun to make and fun to use the Cricut and to be very honest with you I had never curved um, words before in the Cricut I just hadn't had the opportunity to need to but I like the way it came out so there you go I'm not going to get back on the camera tonight I just wanted to stop in I want to show you this little sign we're making and we'll be all set when that material comes in from craft outlet so that's all i have for you this afternoon i hope you enjoyed this little journey into cricket world and making a sign i think it's absolutely fantastic i love the lettering and the sign looks so pretty uh, i'll be waiting to get my material and then we'll get busy making a watermelon wreath so i hope everybody is, stays healthy Play by the rules here, guys, and everybody try to stay away from everybody else. And, you know, we're a social world, and it's hard when we're not being social, but this, we're very fortunate that we live in a time of social media where you can um, see people on Instagram or FaceTime with your family and so on and so forth. And then we have people like my sister who doesn't know how to turn on a computer. She's 84 years old and she doesn't know how to turn on a computer and doesn't want to learn how to turn on a computer. And if that's the case, pick up the telephone. The telephone still works, so you can, we can communicate. So anyway, everybody find a craft to do. Find something to give yourself, keep yourself busy. If you keep yourself busy, you'll be less time to worry about what's going on in the world. And sooner or later, it'll be all done. And we'll be back to somewhat business as usual. But in the meantime, have a great afternoon. And I'll see you Sunday. We're going to be doing uh, our Mad About March 
and I have just one simple little hors d'oeuvre probably to make. We'll see what comes up between now and Sunday. Or I might even have something uh, a little more elaborate. But, you know, you have to be careful. I'm not going to be shopping at a bunch of stores to get stuff. So I'm going to find things that I have here in the house. In the meantime, have a great afternoon. Keep well, keep warm, keep safe. And everybody play nice now. Bye-bye.